Where are the children's books, please? In that room right over there. Would you like me to pick you out one with lots of pictures in it? Write this down. All right. The first car your brilliant father sold cost $20. I sold it for $1. <gasps> The second one cost five dollars. Mm -hmm. I sold it for two dollars. Wait, Dad, you're going too fast. Just right. right. The third cost sixty-eight dollars. I sold it for nine dollars. Mm -hmm. And the fourth cost one thousand one hundred dollars. <gasps> I sold it for seven big American buffaloes. Harry, <laughs> what was my profit for the day? Sixty-five dollars. Check it if you don't believe me. Your paper's on the paper. Are you being smart with me? If you're being smart with me, young lady, you're going to be punished. Punished for being smart? When a person is bad, that person has to be taught a lesson. Person? We really should weld these bumpers on. But that takes time. So, we use super, super, super glue instead. The sawdust quiets the gears and lets the engine run as sweet as a nut for a couple of miles. Daddy, that's cheating. Of course it's cheating. It's, the numbers go down. Watch your speedometer. Cool. So cool. See? Yeah. Daddy, you're a crook. What? This is illegal. Yeah, keep drilling. Do you make money? Do you have a job? No, but don't people need good cars? Listen, you little wiseacre. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. I still don't see uh, how you glued your uh, heart on, Harry. I mean, I know you say you didn't, but obviously you did. I did not glue my hat to my head. The hat shrunk, the fibers fused to my hair. Uh, uh. From now on, this family does exactly what I say, when, exactly when I say it. Here's your hat, Harry. And right now, we are eating dinner and watching TV. Hi, Dad. Are you in this family? Hello? 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 Are you, are you suspending this family? What is this trash you're reading? It's not trash, Daddy. It's lovely. It's called Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Moby what? Fresh meat. What are those? Hanging down by your ears. You mean my pigtails? Are you a pig, Amanda? No, Miss Trunchbull. Do I allow pigs in my school? My mommy thinks they're sweet. Your mommy is a twit. You'll chop those off before school tomorrow or but I will come around. But! I but! Can't. Did you say but? Hammer throw. Good loss! Excellent release! We've been working on our two times tables. Let's do some together. Two times four is... Two times six is... Eight! Two times nine is? Twelve. Twelve. Excellent. You've been practicing. Pretty soon you'll be able to do any multiplication, whether it's two times seven, very good, or thirteen times three hundred and seventy.
good eye. Miss Trunchbull, Matilda Wormwood. Her father says she's a real A what? Oh, there is no problem. Then beat it. We're watching TV. Mr. Wormwood, if you think watching some rotten TV show is more important than your daughter, then maybe you shouldn't be a parent. The entire school will go to the assembly room immediately. Sit! Would little Brucie come up here, please? You're a disgusting criminal, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Cake. Chocolate cake. You slithered like a serpent into the school kitchen and ate my personal snack! Do you deny it? Yes! This one was mine. And it was the most scrumptious. My mom's is better. We can spell difficulty. You couldn't spell difficulty if your life depended on it. She taught us with a poem. A poem? How sweet. What poem would that be? Mrs. D, Mrs. F, F, Mrs. I, I, D, Mrs. U, Mrs. L, T, Y. Why are all these women married? I'll be watching you, each and every one, when you turn the corner. When you go to your little cubbies to get your smelly little coats, when you skip merry little lunch, I'll be watching all of you, and especially you. This is a cottage from your story. Yes. The young woman is you. But then, no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. And Trunchbull. We didn't see that coming. We didn't. We didn't. If you're saying you saw it coming, you're lying. Oh, my. My father's portrait used to hang there. She'd take a chocolate, bring it to her lips, and say, That's too good for children. Form a line across the room, quickly! Run, run, run! Don't keep me waiting! Fill this gap! A child came to my house. Wow. You know, a pandemic? Let's play a game, shall we? Who was wearing a pretty red hair ribbon yesterday and isn't wearing one today? Can you answer me that? ribbon belong to that the demented drooling slime breath little lilliputian who owns this disgusting ribbon will never see the light of day again <laughs>